Obviously, you guys have had to play a lot of freshmen, uh, a lot of young guys get, getting in. How have you seen that this group embrace that challenge this year? Yeah, um, you know, we've had guys step up, some young guys um, had to mature and, um, you know, learn how to do it the right way. I think, uh, you know, Shane Simon and Brandon George are great leaders bringing those guys along, but you've seen those young guys step up. Kyle Lewis, um, you know, Jordan Bass, Braylon Lovelace, uh, even Biles got in there a little bit in Notre Dame. Um, so, you know, those guys are growing. And um, obviously the message to them is they don't have much time to grow up. It's gotta be faster and, you know, can't make the same mistake twice. Um, but I love the, the energy and excitement they bring every day to grow and compete. Um, it's fun to coach those guys. For someone who's worked with Brandon George the last several years, what was it like for you to watch his game on Saturday? It was, it was awesome, you know, and, and I'm, I'm invested in all these young guys and to see uh, someone who, who is a great young man, um, you know, just a great person, you know his work ethic and how hard he trains to see him go out there and have success, it's, 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 it's fun um, as a coach, rewarding, certainly see him uh, light up and, you know, he, he's a terror sometimes. He gets in the backfield and he's a big physical dude bringing guys down, it's fun to watch. And so certainly was excited to see him have that success. Pat kind of said yesterday that it almost sounded like a few weeks ago, he didn't say a light bulb went off, but he said there was a, seemed to see a change over the past few weeks out of Brandon. He's a fifth year guy. Is that later than you typically see a guy take the steps forward that maybe he's taken in the past couple of weeks? Yeah, and, and again, I think he's flashed at times as well. So it's not like he, he's never done it, but he certainly turned it on, as, as you alluded to, and his coach talked about. Um, so it was good. It was good to see that, you know, everybody's timing's different. And so it's good to see him um, step up at this time. Do you find yourself looking forward to next season because you have so, have so many young guys that are, that are playing a lot? Try to stay in the moment. Yeah. Try to stay in the moment. But certainly the future's bright to get at what you're talking about. We've got some young guys that, again, are continue to grow. Um, but, you know, we're focused on Syracuse right now and, and going to Yankee Stadium and having a good football game. And that's what we're working on right now. Brian, how have your young guys dealt with the adversity of, of playing for the first time and going through games and being critical of, of their, their work and, and learning? Yeah, I think that they've all, you know, every, each of them's a little different, but I think as a whole, they've been mature. And, and I think, you know, you get that feedback after a game, uh, I'm sure it's a little bit more direct and a little more aggressive than maybe high school when they were the, just the guy um, and, and not red shirting, right? You don't get that, that grace period to see the older guys get coached. I mean, it, it, they're in the fire. Um, and, and so, you know, credit goes to them for how they've, um, taking that coaching and like I said try not to make the same mistake twice and step up and continue to practice um, and understand is the coaching is not personal right we just want a, a great product we want you to go out there run fast hit hard make plays and do things the right way um, and so again I think they've done that um, so proud of proud of how they've handled that and, and the maturity they've shown. Rasheem's gotten his hands on I think three punts this year what in your mind makes him so good at, at doing that? Yeah I think he's got a knack for it for certain and, and um, you'll watch him play um, other sports in high school, basketball, he's a good, good basketball player. Um, and then on the football field, he has those instincts. And I think it starts with his, his eyes. I mean, he's a courageous young man. He, he keeps his eyes on the football. He doesn't flinch at the point of attack, certainly on a, on a punt. Sometimes you got to train those guys, right? Hand and eye to the block. I mean, he is, he's not flinching. He's going right where he's supposed to with his eyes. And, and like I said, he's, he's got his hand on three balls. So it's a, it's a great um, you know, credit to his ability to go play fast with confidence and go make plays. How much has Solomon really grown this season? Is he, is he becoming that player you believe he would be over the past few seasons? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously last year he rotated in a little bit and he's taken that leap to play more. Um, we always knew he's big and athletic, but he's putting it together more consistently, um, which is good to see. And obviously it's never a, a done product, right? He's, he's got to keep being more consistent, um, but certainly proud of the plays he's making and um, the toughness he's showing and, and, and the ability to, to continue to fight and prepare himself as, as a guy who's playing more. Do you feel like they have a this this group has a, play, a, a a part of their game that's grown the most this year that you've seen just game to game how they how they've gotten better as a group? Um, I think there's a lot of different facets. I, I don't know if there's just one. Um, and again, I'm trying to make them sure we're consistent in everything, stopping the run, coverage. You know, our our pressures on third down. So it's it's bouncing all those little things. So I don't know if there's one. You got one in mind? Uh, I, I honestly, I felt like they they fly they flied on the run a lot better the past few weeks. Just run fits and and being more aggressive. That that's part of what your group has done very well in the past with the veterans. When you guys have had the, the older guys, this younger group. We're seeing early on guys at least 
just from right. my football watching eyes. It seemed like they were a little bit hesitant, or if they were aggressive, they missed. In the past, I'd say few weeks, we've, I think I've, at least I've seen on tape them fly to the right gaps more and fit in the run game better. Right. Okay. With, yeah, with that, I mean, that's certainly something we're coaching all the time. Okay. So, yeah, you're seeing that, that, you know, certainly good we're going in the right direction. <laughs> we're certainly trying to do that every single day. Brian, you mentioned the leadership that you're getting from a brand and a chain. How, how do they lead and, and what is it about them that makes them good leaders? I think it starts with relationships. Both those guys are confident in who they are, um, you know, personally, what they care about, what they bring to the table. <laughs> And then they're able to invest in the other guys and let them know they care. And they're so knowledgeable. They prepare themselves as professionals. And, and again, uh, they lead by that example. And then when you know a young guy has a question, they can trust that those two have the answers. They know what they're doing. And they trust that they have what's best for them um, you know, and best for this team in mind. And so, uh, again, credit those two for being awesome young men and, and being uh, knowledgeable and preparing themselves and then being able to take the young guys under their wing. Because um, they, they are, they, they, they are, you know, they, they get those eyes, they get those questions, um, and that's something they've earned. What's the uh, push and pull like for a coach, you know, with your young freshmen, they're all really explosive players. And so you're watching them out there, you're watching Bass fly around and, and Braylon. But then, you know, on the flip side, they're going to make mistakes because there's yeah. things they don't know. So, like, as you're watching, you're breaking down film, practice games. I mean, what what's the balance like for you of, like, wow, that's exciting, but you also – didn't do what you were supposed to do, you know what I mean? Like, how do you Absolutely. kind of balance that? Um, yeah, I mean, exactly how you're saying it. I mean, we got to continue to be who you are athletically. We've got to clean up the mistakes, you know what I mean? Get those reads faster. Um, and I think what we're talking about is you're starting to see that a little bit, seeing those guys get more comfortable on the football field, read those keys, um, and make those plays. So, uh, you know, the, the feedback's always going to be there. I'm not going to let anything slide, coach them hard. Um, but again, no, hopefully they're not making those same mistakes. Coach What's the uh, progression of the Gollies' performance so far this season? How have you seen them grow? Yeah, uh, Gollies growing. Um, you know, it, it's, it's different areas in, e in each style. Like I said, there's there's run stopping, there's coverage components, there's blitz components. Um, you know, battling a little bit through some you know things, um, but he's growing, and, and I think it's maturity. Um, it, it, he's stepping up, so I'm excited about where he's at. He's got to continue to push forward, and uh, you know, three games left to continue to prove himself. Yeah, I know Solomon and Bengali were always trained to both sides. Have you shifted like midseason Bengali playing more star in the the past couple of weeks and Solomon more money is just how those guys have been playing? Or? Yeah, as of late, that's what you've seen on tape. We'll continue to try to get the you know the best guys on the field, the right position in the right seats uh, for each week, and see how they practice and uh, continue to get that lineup. What I believe what they've earned and, and uh, get the right guys that can help our team win. All good.